Hi friends, it's me, Miss Dawn, here to talk to you once again about the fruits of the Spirit as found in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. We've been spending a lot of time in these verses learning what the nine fruits of the spirits are, and today we're finding out what the eighth one is. Can you believe we're already on number eight? There's only one left after this. I can't believe it. Um, it's been so wonderful learning about the kinds of things that the Holy Spirit gives us when we let him, when we open our hearts to letting the Holy Spirit fill us up with his fruit. And uh, we're not talking about apples and bananas. We're talking about wonderful things that um, we can show to other people when we are filled with the Holy Spirit. This week, that eighth fruit of the Spirit is one of my favorites. It's called gentleness. So when we follow Jesus and he lives in our hearts, then the Holy Spirit's power comes on us and he gives us different things. They're called the fruits of the Spirit. A growing Christian bears the fruit of gentleness. Now, I love gentleness because I like to receive gentleness from people. What is gentleness? It means like being um, calm and peaceful and like tender hearted, maybe, and not harsh, right? Not too angry, not too loud, kind of um, soothing and comforting and quiet. Um, that's what gentleness means to me. And I like receiving gentleness. And I'm going to tell you something very truthful. I have a hard time showing gentleness. I'm kind of a loud lady. Um, I'm kind of opinionated. I don't keep my thoughts to myself. I'm kind of, I always go like, bah, 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 talking all the time. You guys know that. And so sometimes I wish that I could just have gentleness in great abundance. And I know that no matter how hard I try to be gentle by myself, it's really hard for me to do that. I have to ask God to give it to me. And I'm really relieved that the Holy Spirit can give us the fruit of gentleness, especially when it seems like we can't come up with that one on our own, when we're feeling frustrated or stressed out or confused, which are things I feel all the time. And so then I'm not very gentle with people when I feel those things. And so the Holy Spirit can help me with that. Um, the, the example that I have for you this week is from something that I've been dealing with this week, which is um, I have been sick this week. I took a medicine for something else and the medicine did not agree with me. The medicine was not gentle to me. Uh, it made me itchy. First, I was itchy everywhere, from the top of my head all the way to the bottom of my toes. I was itching and scratching everywhere. And I'm like, why am I so itchy? And so I kept scratching, kept scratching every part of me and it wasn't making it better. And then when I started to look more closely, I realized I have red spots all over me. My hands are getting swollen. I had to take my wedding ring off so that it wouldn't get stuck on my finger because my fingers were starting to puff up. and. Um, and I just felt really grody, like I had a sunburn and I wasn't even outside. Um, and my nose got really big and red and my lips are very chapped. And so anyway, you could say that my medicine was not gentle with me at all. It was nothing but harsh on me. And I had to go back to the doctor and get another kind of medicine that was more gentle to me so that I could get better. And I'm in the process of getting better right now. And I just wish so much that all of the medicine would be gentle with us, right? We don't want anything to make us feel worse than we were already feeling. So that was kind of a rough thing for me to go through. But I'm getting better and I'm thankful that God is bringing me through it. Our scripture this week is Philippians chapter 4 verse 5 which says, let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. I like that this is the fruit of the Spirit that we're asked to be when the Lord is near. Why do you think that is? God is right by our side. He wants to hear us speak to one another with gentleness. He wants us to be tender with one another, to not be harsh with one another. The Lord is near. Do you think the Lord is gentle? I sure do. I don't think he's anything but gentle. And at the same time, he's strong and powerful, but never in a harsh way. 
I'm thankful that the Lord is gentle to us and that the Holy Spirit can give us what we need so that we can be gentle to everyone around us because the Lord is near. He's always near us. He's always with us. So let's be gentle with others the way we, he would be gentle with us and not like my medicine was with me. <laughs> that was not good medicine. Um, and I'm eager to get it out of my system so that I don't have those harsh effects on my skin anymore. So I am praying for you San Pedro kids and I'd like to close this video with a prayer right now. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for being gentle with us and thank you for medicines that help us and don't hurt us. Um, I pray for everybody out there right now who is dealing with health issues or who is sick or hurting. I pray for anyone that we know and love that is dealing with COVID-19 right now, that you would be developing the gentle medicine that so many people all around the world need so that they can be healed and protected from this um, virus. And I pray that you will keep us safe in this world and I thank you, Lord Jesus, that no matter what happens, you are always gentle to us. I love you, Lord, and I love my friends. Please bless the San Pedro kids and their families this week. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I will be back next week for our last fruit of the spirit. I can't even believe it. Wow, I'm so proud of us for talking about so many different wonderful things. And I hope that you've been seeing all of this in your life every week. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.